Hey everyone, it's Karen here. I thought I would make a quick video. I have not made a video in a long time. I think it's the last one was on Mother's Day and I've, I've just been so busy. Uh, I'm trying to do so many things at one time. I started an Etsy store. I only have a couple of things. I am working on several different projects at one time and taking care of my house and my grandchildren. Um, so I've been pretty busy. First of all, I want to say um, I think I showed my little planners in the last video I was working on. Um, I do have one of these available in my Etsy store, and this is just the little field note size uh, cover, and it's thin. Uh, this is faux leather, and it has a little pocket on the back. I did not put one on the front. These are this is sewn in right here. And uh, you can get it with the white cord or you can get it with different color, color ribbon. It's on my Etsy store. And these are just, they're thin, but they're nice to um, chunk up and throw in your purse. I mean, they, they take a lot. The spine is one and three quarters, so they are made to be really chunky. And I'm going to show you mine again. Um, so I do have one available. Well, actually I have two, but um, one on my Etsy store right now. Uh, another material I got from Joann's. This is a really pretty, I guess you want to say a tannish color. And I think it was called a latte or something like that. Some kind of coffee drink. I can't remember the name of it. But this is faux leather too. And this is a little bit softer and it feels a little bit more like leather than this does. This kind of feels more um, like a vinyl. But not... I mean, I want to say it's not that really cheap vinyl, cheap, cheap, the hard vinyl. You can get a Joann's. It's a little bit better than that, but it is thin, um, and it holds up well. I haven't had any problems with mine at all, but I love this color, and this, uh, these are going to be the next one covers I make, and as you can tell, it's really chunky. That's the way I like it, so um, this is a l one of the little elastic cords that I got. I can't remember where I bought it from, but I think I have a zebra, a black, white, and a golden black you can get with the pink color. But anyway, I have been busy working in this, and as you can see, this one was my, this is my test cover, um, and it will come with two pockets on the front, and I'm going to sew them in. Now, the ones I was making before, I was actually trying to use the fabric tack. Um, because I didn't have the proper foot or uh, the little part I needed to go on my sewing machine. Yeah, this says it bonds all this stuff together, even glass, it doesn't work. So I've had to do these over and that's why these do not have front pockets in them. This is just the back pocket sewn in. But these will have um, two little front pockets in on the front flap and Let's see, basically, oh, I have some, let me show you really quickly. I do have a, let's see here, a planner set for the field note size. And it is actually zebra. I'll have a little set right here. Now this is was printed in just a fast format so I could just see, um, make sure that it matched up. So this is not really what it actually looks like. It'll look a lot darker when you print it in um, best print quality. This is just my testers. Uh, but it'll come with a weekly. And it's basically the same thing I have in mind, but this is a zebra print. And you know, you have your little water, your daily water intake. And these are made to print out um, double-sided. So I have a weekly, I'll have a monthly, which I really like these. And when I make these, I try to take up as much space as I can because, you know, the field note size is little. And I, I like to view my whole month at one time. So it takes up the whole page. And on the back of monthly, let me see if I have one printed out. You have this month, which I don't know if I put these in here right because I was kind of like testing these out. So you will have this month 
on the back of each little monthly calendar so you can write down whatever you need to for that month um, and I will have a I have a check register available also and you know that's basically just a check register and I think that no I have a couple of other things I don't have it laying right in front of me but I do have a couple of habit trackers and monthly trackers I have them down as a monthly tracker um, I have a bill pay which is let me see if it's set up like mine um, it'll be monthly bills and it'll kind of be like this one but it'll be zebra and I've got it so you can put it in your little traveler's notebook like that I guess vertical uh, I really like it a lot so I don't think I've really added anything else in here since I showed it to you last I've just been kind of decorating it and this is um, this month with the other planner pack that I have and I made this one but this one will not be for sale um, let's see what else do I have in here and my little grandson <laughs> he's so cute and you know I know everybody probably likes the, the nice vinyl covers and that's okay I have not actually used them yet um, I'm u using heavy duty uh, sheet protectors and honestly I like them I don't know how the vinyl and I forgot who makes those I think it's is it foxy fix or something like that I can't remember but anyway I don't know if you can take stuff out of those and put in because I like to put pictures in mine and I can change my little things up in here so I'm planning on making a couple of these already put together to sell and they will come like this but you know this is going to be something affordable this is not going to be sky high um, stuff I buy off the internet these this is going to be something that I make you know they're good to just have something little to see if you like it see if it works for you but I personally like to be able to put pictures and stuff in mine so like that now if I come across something else I might use it um, I was working on a chores insert just kind of working that up to see how it looks and I took baseball card holders and you can actually cut it down and put some uh, washi tape in there that's really cute it's just something to add in there for decorations now this would be your weekly view calendar um, the zebra print I also have a plain one with just actually no color on it so if you just want to get that I've got to upload that to Etsy uh, let's see well, here's another one of those baseball card holders which I really like uh, monthly tracker you the monthly trackers I'm gonna have on the uh, Etsy will look sort of like this and I have one this size and then I have one to open up this way that's large so you know you could fix it up in a little folder you can make its own little cover if you like the bigger look and you need more space to write uh, but I like the little one that goes on the side another thing I'm making um, some paper clips this is a little coffee paper clip and they're really they're so cute I have different colors and I think I have some on Etsy right yeah I have a couple on Etsy and I think it's the blue one it's a little blue one with the pink um, I guess the pink little coffee cup holder or whatever you want to call it on the side and I have a jade color which is a special effect uh, clay it looks like the jade stone which is pretty cool and I have a couple of other ones I have not put on there yet I have a pink one with gold and a cream and green uh, I think I have another pink one with black on it so I'm working on some paper clips too I think I'm gonna make a set of summer paper clips and um, maybe some watermelon to match my watermelon theme stickers that I'm gonna show you uh, and I think that's all that's in here that I've really changed 
let's see I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything because it's been a while since I've updated or sorry uploaded a video to YouTube and no nope, that's it so anyway hopefully I will get a few of these made and on my Etsy store especially in this color I really like this brown tan looking color all right and another thing I'm working on believe it or not I went and bought a happy planner and I like it I changed the cover on mine um, I'm gonna use this one for my Etsy stuff my store and my ideas and whatnot and I really I actually like this a whole lot I love my little travelers notebook but uh, this one is growing on me um, this one was my first layout and I put a little piece of paper in there to put my ideas on and this is the sticker set that I have on my Etsy store uh, it's watermelon and this page is fully loaded I know but I wanted to um, kind of show you all the stickers now I did not use them all I still I think it's 102 stickers and all and you can download that and print them out I love I think it's so cute I just love it um, now the watermelons I did hand paint and I use acrylic paint so basically I just kind of doodled some on here um, and the big watermelon and then I transferred those to my computer I took a picture with my phone because I don't like the way they scan on my scanner and then you know I kind of got them a little bit darker because they were kind of too light when I printed them out before but so I'm using I'm trying to use my own artwork as well as using um, Photoshop to do you know all the little labels and stuff so that's my first sticker set that I've made and I'm I plan on making another one I'm working on some watercolor now just doing some doodles I want to do a coffee set next so hopefully I can get that done and I'm just loving this happy planner I really don't want to write in it because it's so it's really pretty and I don't want to write in it <laughs> but yeah so I'm, I, I really like this and that's basically what I'm working on right now I have not been in my junk journal at all I've been trying to get stuff together for my Etsy store and it takes a lot of work when you're trying to juggle a lot of different things so um, if you have anything that you would like um, polymer polymer clay paper clips if you have any um, something you're looking for you know just um, comment below or something and maybe I can get those on my Etsy store if you have anything else that you can't find that you're looking for maybe I can uh, put that in with my projects and get something on my Etsy store and I know there's a ton of planner stuff on Etsy it, it's a lot because I have been looking so I'm want to try to make some different stuff um, and you know use my own art so that's what I really like to do uh, they have a lot of nice packs on Etsy you know like the scrapbook packs you can buy and use the clip art you can use them with a commercial use license and I've thought about doing that because they have some really cute graphics but I really love to do my own stuff even if it does take me forever I just think it's cool to be able to you know make your own things and not use somebody else's artwork so that's what I've been up to hopefully you um We'll just check out my shop like I said right now it's really tiny I think I only have like five things but I'm working on it um, and that's just about it you guys I have not like I said been working in my junk journal at all and I miss doing that but it, you know you can only do so many things at one time and right now my plate is really full <laughs> so all right, if you have any questions or comments or you would like to see something or you're looking for a sticker pack or now I know that these are actually made for the happy planners, but I Started out using those stickers in my little travelers notebook because I, I think they're really cute and am I to do insert You know you can really use a lot of these stickers and fix it up 
So that's when I see this my little, I love that. So that's when I came up with the idea that I should do some of these for my little traveler's planner because I really like them. They really look cute. And I went in and let's see if I can find it. I started printing, <coughs> excuse me. I started printing some out and adjusting the paper and the settings on my printer, trying to get them to look better. Now everybody's printer is not the same, so they're not going to print out. Um, hopefully they will print out really good, but you know everybody's printer is different. I use the Avery sticker paper, and I have a Canon printer. And honestly, I use my settings on high resolution paper and the best quality and you know they come out looking really cute you're not gonna get store bought a sticker look with home you know home printing but they um they, i mean they're really colorful and i think they look good so i use those in my traveler's planner also I, they work out really well and i guess that is about it you guys hopefully um I will work on some of these little covers and I'm going to try to complete one little book. Not all the way, but like I said before, I wanted to kind of put one together just to, um, you know, put out there. I know they're not, they're not as, I guess, they're not going to be as expensive as the ones I've been looking at when I first started out that I, and when I wanted one. Um, like I said, the cover that I wanted, I think it was around $90. So that's when I decided to make my own. I mean, these are, you know, affordable and they're good to throw in your pocketbook, take to the store with your little grocery list or take anywhere. I have everything in there from the monthly, weekly chores, notebook, notes. Well, that is my notebook. Um, health, I have coupons, I have my check register, um, I have everything in here at my fingertips, which I kind of like. So anyway guys, I just want to give you a quick video of what I've been doing and working on. So maybe next time I can work on something and so you can see what I'm doing. Maybe I can do a sticker set or something or, um work on some polymer clay paper clips. I think they're really cute. All right, guys, it is Saturday evening and it's so nice outside. I think I'm gonna get outside for a little bit and dip my feet in my grandson's kiddie pool because it's so big and nice and um, I kinda need to get a little sun too. <laughs> All right, guys, you take care.